he curious case of the talking teddy bear. In the heart of a charming town, where cobblestone streets wound their way through cozy cottages, there lived a little girl named Emma. Emma's most prized possession was her beloved teddy bear, affectionately named Mr. Snuggles. One peculiar night, as the moon cast a silvery glow over the town, Emma heard a soft voice coming from her room. To her surprise, it was Mr. Snuggles, the teddy bear was talking. Hello, Emma, Mr. Snuggles said with a gentle smile stitched onto his furry face. Wide-eyed and filled with wonder, Emma listened as Mr. Snuggles explained that he possessed the magical ability to talk and share stories. Together, they embarked on nightly adventures, exploring the hidden wonders of the imagination. However, the talking teddy bear's newfound ability became the talk of the town. Soon, whispers and rumors spread like wildfire, and the townsfolk grew curious about the curious case of the talking teddy bear. One day, a wise old librarian named Professor Hoots decided to investigate the mystery. With his spectacles perched on the edge of his beak, Professor Hoots approached Emma and Mr. Snuggles, eager to unravel the enchanting secret. Together, the trio embarked on a quest to the enchanted library, a magical place rumored to hold the key to the mysteries of talking toys. Along the way, they encountered playful bookworms and mischievous ink imps that added a touch of whimsy to their journey. In the heart of the enchanted library, Professor Hoots discovered an ancient storybook that revealed the origin of Mr. Snuggles' magic. It turned out that a kind fairy had granted the teddy bear the ability to talk as a reward for bringing comfort and joy to Emma. With the mystery solved, Professor Hoots, Emma, and Mr. Snuggles returned to the town. The townsfolk, once skeptical, now embraced the magic of the talking teddy bear realizing that sometimes the most extraordinary things can happen in the most ordinary places. From that day forward, Emma and Mr. Snuggles continued their nightly adventures, and the town became a place where the extraordinary was celebrated, and the magic of friendship and imagination flourished. The curious case of the talking teddy bear became a beloved tale passed down from one generation to the next, a reminder that magic can be found in the simplest of things. Hope you enjoyed this story of the curious case of the talking teddy bear.